Got some money for me, boy? I seen your name in our ledger. Red Dead Redemption 2 has revealed itself in a new trailer, and we've fallen upon it like a pack of wolves, ripping meaty chunks of gameplay detail from its still warm bones. If you're as excited about the next Red Dead game as we are, then take a look now at these, the most important things to take away from that brand new trailer. For one, we now have confirmation that this is a prequel to Red Dead Redemption. Previously, fans had speculated that Red Dead 2 would be set before Red Dead Redemption, citing evidence from the initial trailer like the railroads, the buffalo, and the conditions of the carriages. But now we've got the concrete proof we were looking for. This guy. Do you have my bag? Always Dutch. That's Dutch Vanderlind, the gang leader you spent all of Red Dead Redemption trying to track down, and who, if you finish the game, spoiler alert, isn't going to be showing up in any sequels, on account of how he's dead. Our time has passed, John. And also the FBI shot his corpse. Here, Dutch is very much alive and looking younger than he did in Red Dead Redemption, with longer hair and a fancy waistcoat. Yeah, enjoy it while it lasts, Dutch. Shoot my binoculars, will you? The new Red Dead Redemption 2 trailer centers on this gentleman, Arthur Morgan. You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. Arthur Morgan, the apparent protagonist of Red Dead Redemption 2, is a character entirely new to the Red Dead universe, and he's a member of Dutch's criminal gang. Do you have my back? Always, Dutch. By the looks of it, Morgan is a kind of rugged, Gary Cooper-looking cowboy debt collector. You got some money for me, boy? I've seen your name in our ledger. He likes threatening people and threatening people for money. He is good at it. Maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. When you love what you do, you never work a day in your life, hey, Arthur? Where's our money? That's the spirit. Heroes who are morally compromised or straight-up anti-heroes are par for the course in a Rockstar game, so professionally menacing Arthur Morgan would fit right in. But that said, we wouldn't rule out the idea that Red Dead Redemption 2 might have multiple protagonists, as in Rockstar's last game, Grand Theft Auto V. If you want my advice, give the shit up. Remember how this early trailer for GTA V centered on Michael, who turned out to be one of the game's three playable characters? Well, it might be that the story of Red Dead Redemption 2 will be told from the perspective of more than one protagonist as well. It could even be that we've had our first glimpse of the other protagonists without even knowing it, as in that GTA V trailer. Can you tell me where Berto Beach House is? That house right there, with the yellow stairs. Could our other player characters include this dude, another member of Dutch's gang? We'll need an extra gun. Could one be this lady with the stabbing action and trust issues? You're the only one of these fools that I trust. Or could our alternate protagonist be this silent, bereaved teen? <laughs> only kidding. That's the face of an NPC if I ever saw one. The trailer also suggests a few things about the actual story of the game. According to the trailer's official description, the game is the story of outlaw Arthur Morgan and the Van der Lind gang as they rob, fight, and steal their way across the vast and rugged heart of America in order to survive. From that, we can deduce that this all takes place towards the later or even final days of the Van der Lind gang's reign of terror. Arthur makes reference to the law having chased the crew from where they were before, so this gang is already well established at the time Red Dead Redemption 2 takes place. They chased us from the west, they chased us over with a mountain. What's more, if the gang was still at the height of its powers, would they be sending Morgan out into the middle of nowhere to collect debts from a list of names? If you remember the single line of dialogue from the previous Red Dead Redemption 2 trailer, it lends further weight to this theory that the gang is on the ropes. If you don't remember it, well, by the magic of internet video, here it is. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. From what we know of John Marston's history, John, along with his wife Abigail, left the gang in 1906 after being shot in a failed robbery and left for dead. Judging by the appearance of Dutch and Bill Williamson in this trailer, and from the lack of John Marston, we reckon this dates the action here as taking place somewhere around 1907. So that's still close to the end of the period known as the Old West, but modern enough to allow for some more modern firearms and methods of transportation, and technology like this telephone that would somehow still be confusing Marshall Johnson a few years later in Red Dead Redemption. Hello? Hello? Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Those of us trying to figure out just where Red Dead Redemption 2 will be set geographically got a lot more to work with in this trailer. 
As Arthur Morgan tells us, the law chased the gang from the west, chased them over the mountains. They chased us from the west, they chased us over the mountains. Now, New Austin from Red Dead Redemption was heavily based on Texas, and if you head due east from Texas, you hit Louisiana, which certainly seems to be the inspiration for a lot of what we see in this trailer, including this plantation-style house, the bayou the gang needs to wade through to get to it, and the alligator making life hard for unwary pigs. As for the mountains he mentions, these are likely the ones spotted on that leaked Red Dead Redemption 2 map on which they were called the Grizzlies, which seem to be based on the Rockies. Not sure what they're doing here, but presumably they've been relocated from the northwest US and Canada for a bit of variety. That, plus Rockstar's note that the game takes place in America's heartland, gives us a pretty good idea of where we'll be doing our redemption income come the launch of Red Dead Redemption 2 sometime in spring 2018. One of the joys of Red Dead Redemption was the arsenal of satisfying old-timey weapons. The rapid fire of a six-shooter, the satisfying crack of a rifle, the weird homing arc when you chug a bottle of snake oil and then dead-eye someone with a stick of dynamite. The new trailer shows us a bit more of what was confirmed by earlier screenshots, that Red Dead Redemption 2 will add dual wielding to the mix, and frankly, we're not sure how we lived without it last time though I'm not clear on how closing one eye helps when you have two guns. There's also a new bow and arrow which should allow for quieter kills. Combine that with the shots of the gang sneaking through the bayou, robbing a train at night and stabbing this guy, and it suggests that Red Dead Redemption 2 will have more stealth missions than the first game. Oh, and the lasso is back, which we expect will allow you to again tie people up unnecessarily and leave them in the middle of a deserted spot where no one will ever find them. Like we did with the funny man in Red Dead 1, after the fourth time we had to save him from a massive shootout. Honestly, he'll actually live longer this way. It seems in this game you'll be firmly positioned on the wrong side of the law rather than being mostly on the side of good, but with some fairly notable lapses from time to time, like John Marston. How's that redemption going, buddy? Slowly? Yeah. The good news is that being a self-identifying low-down dirty criminal means you get to heist the hell out of everything, including both types of train, daytime and nighttime, and this bank full of safe deposit boxes. But it wouldn't be a Red Dead Redemption sequel if it didn't offer ample options for faffing around when you're supposed to be doing work for Dutch. This trailer suggests you'll be hunting again with that bow and arrow, breaking horses, and it seems, brawling in the street. Let's just hope Dutch isn't paying you by the hour or he is going to be pissed. Okay, so let's address the elephant in the room and ask where the hell is John Marston, Rockstar? When rumours started to circulate that Red Dead Redemption 2 would be a prequel, fans of the first game saw a way they'd be able to play another game with their favourite cowboy that didn't involve zombies or dark magic. Just isn't the same. However, from what we've seen so far, John is nowhere to be seen in Red Dead Redemption 2. This chimes with our theoretical time period for the game, namely the five-year period between John leaving the gang and the events of Red Dead Redemption, during which the Van der Linde gang fell apart and the government started to come after them. Even so, we would eat a stagecoach load of 10-gallon hats if Mr. John Marston Esquire didn't show up at some point in Red Dead Redemption 2. You can at least expect plenty of references to him from the gang members he left behind, who, as Bill Williamson reminds us, weren't all that fond of him. Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. There we have it, the salient points from the new trailer for Red Dead Redemption 2. We can't wait to play it, but we're going to have to because it's not out until 2018. You can watch us bide our time until then by replaying through the original Red Dead Redemption up here, or you can watch other non-Red Dead related videos down here. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.